G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to expand two factors of this sort of type. Uh, where we have, say, something like, um, here we go, x plus 3 and x plus 2. Okay, and these are said to be, um, these are expressions with two terms that are called binomials. And we're going to look about how to expand these, basically multiply these guys together. Now, Okay, what about I start off straight away with this sort of example. Now, say we, an example of this might be, say, we had a rectangle, okay, and it looked like this, and we had two sides. We had this side here, which was x plus 3, and we had this side here, which was x plus 2. And if you wanted to work at the area of these, what you'd realise is that the area is equal to this x plus 3 here, so I'm going to put this in brackets, x plus 3 times this x plus 2. Okay, um, so we want to expand these out and make it a, a little bit more simple. So how can we go about doing this? That's not too hard. Um, okay, so if we were to do this, it's pretty much like we were doing in the previous video, we were just expanding where we had a single set of brackets, but it's just a, an extra bit of, um, bit of work with it. So we're going to try and create an expression without brackets. Now the way we do this is as follows. So first off this term here, we're going to look at this first set of brackets over here, and we're going to be multiplying this one by this term here and this term here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next part of this, in the, this part in the brackets here, this three part, and we're going to multiply this by this and this one here. Now I'm going to show you actually a pretty cool use for this. Uh, in a second as well, okay? But, but we'll just get back to this, okay? But um, first off, let's do this. So first off, I think it's really good if you can get this idea and draw these sorts of things. So you start off with one and you're gonna go to that one there and that one there, and this one here, you're gonna go to this one here and this one here, and then you can start following them through. So x, okay, first off, x times x is x squared. Okay, so that's this particular one we've done just here. The next one we're going to do is this one, x times 2. Okay, so x times 2 is positive 2x. Now we're going to go, what is 3 times x, which is 3x. And then we're going to have what's 3 times 2, which is 6. Okay. So we've got this answer out, and we've expanded it all out, and you're going to see that we actually have some like terms here, some terms that have the same pronumeral, the same letter on them, okay, to the same power. This one's different from these ones, but these guys here are the same. This x squared is said to be different because it's an x squared, not just a plain old x. So we're going to end up with the following x squared. And look at this 2x and this 3x. We can add these together. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. And this here... The 6 just stays as a 6. So how did you go with that? Did you go pretty good? Now I'm going to go through a couple more examples of these and I want to show you something really, really cool about this, okay? Uh, well, you might find it cool. Well, I, I find it pretty good, okay? But we'll, we'll get to that in a second, okay? So what about I'll give you a couple more examples of these. Say I just um, get you expanding, say, this one here. Um, X take 4 and 2x minus 1. Okay, so it's the same sort of thing. You're going to be multiplying. I'm going to start with this x here, and I'm going to be multiplying it first off by this one. So x times 2x is 2x squared. This one times this one, x times minus 1 is minus x. Okay, now I'm going to be looking at this minus 4 one, so minus 4 times 2x, so minus 4, the first I multiply the coefficients, minus 4 times 2 is minus 8x, and then last of all we've got minus 4 times minus 1, so a minus times a minus is a positive, so positive 4. And then what we can do is we can put like terms, and you often, when you do it this method, you're going to find these two middle ones, you're going to end up with two x's, it's quite a common sort of thing. Okay, so what we end up with of these two being the like terms, 2x squared minus x 
minus 8x is minus 9x because that's like minus 1 here minus 1 minus 8 is minus 9 plus 4 Okay, what about I do one that's just a little bit different from this, but <laughs> but exactly the same in a lot of ways, okay? Uh, what about I do this sort of one here, where I go, uh, what about A minus B in the one bracket, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to multiply this by Y plus 4. You go, wait a second, what happened to all these X's and that sort of deal? It doesn't really matter. Treat it exactly the same. You're just going to end up with different letter combinations. So first off, multiply these two guys. So A times Y is AY. A times 4 is 4A. And that's a positive. Okay, minus B times Y is minus BY. And minus B times 4 is minus 4y. Check for any like terms here. This is a b, so don't get too caught up with that. That looks a little bit like a 6, so I'll put that little tail on it there. Um, but we have no like terms. Okay, and so this is our answer here. Okay, so what about, um, what about, I just, I, I want to show you something with this. First off, I'm just going to go one further example of this, then I'll, I'll show you what I wanted to show you. Uh, which was this. So I'm going to go just a harder example. Say we had, say, something like 7x, take away 3, and I'm going to multiply this by 2x, take away, or plus, plus 4. Same thing, these two together first. 7x times 2x is 14x. 7x times 4 is positive 28x. Minus 3 times 2x is minus 6x, and minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. We can get these two like terms and put them together, and we're going to end up with 14x. Okay, positive 28x plus 6x, so positive 28 plus, uh, take away 6, I apologise, is positive 22x, take away 12. So how did you go with that? Now, Hopefully you're getting those, they're, they're fairly basic and they're fairly good once you get them. But I just wanted to show you one thing which I, I find pretty cool with this. And this is something you may or may not have realised, especially if you've seen some of my earlier videos, which is this. And it's, it's this thing here. Say I was to give you this type of question, 13 times 15. Now I'm going to write this somewhat algebraically I'll show you what I mean with this um, this is just this is just I find this pretty cool um, in fact we can we can even go a step further where we call this 2x or something like this but say I was to call this and x is going to equal 10 I'll give you this little hint x is going to be equal to 10 so our first expression here is x plus 3 and our second expression here is x plus 5 Okay, so what are we going to get for our answer here? We're going to get, and you might even be able to start working out a shortcut with this, okay? But you, you, you'll see these, okay? So first off, we're going to end up with x squared. Then we're going to end up with a 3x. And we're going to end up with, okay, so x squared and 3x. Actually, I'll, what about I'll slow down on... I must say, I'm doing this, I'm hitting a shortcut stage already. I probably shouldn't be doing that. So we're going to go x squared. First off, we'll work at 5x. I apologise, okay? So plus 5x. But I start to be able to see them straight away. Uh, then what we do is we're going to get 3 here and multiply it by x. So we're going to get positive 3x. And then we're going to have a look at 3 times 5, which is 15. So positive 15. And if you do this, what you're going to get is x squared, we're going to put the like terms together, plus 8x, plus 15. And we can substitute now 10 back into our values here, okay? Uh, now, x squared is 100, plus 80, plus 15, which is equal to 195. Now, you work out what 13 times 15 is, and you'll find out that it's 195. This does work. Okay, so you can actually use this to work out 
some uh, mathematical things and there's a couple of shortcuts you can take once you start to be able to put these together really quickly you can actually start looking at this and saying this is going to be um, you can actually start looking at this and saying this is going to be x squared plus 8x plus 15 and so you can start actually going well that's 15 plus 80 is going to be 95 plus 100 is 195 it's a really quick way of doing multiplication when you start getting used to it especially when you start putting 2x and that sort of for, for like for 23 times 15 just something which is kind of interesting, I find, anyway. So it's a good little way to practice these as well when you first start doing these. Okay. So, and a good way of checking your answer, I think, when you're doing them. So an example of this might be, say, we go 4x plus 1. Uh, and we call this one x plus 6. And what we do is we're going to say this is the same as 41 times 16, yeah, because we're going to call x10, yeah, hopefully you're good with this idea, okay, 4, we're going to end up with 4x squared, and as far as the x's go, we're going to have this one here, 4x times 6, which is 24x, and we're going to have 1x, okay, take a bit of a shortcut here, but you're going to notice you can actually do this rainbow multiplication type thing, in fact, I'll do it the slow way, so we're going to get these guys and multiply here, get 24x, and then a bit later on, the first one I'm going to get is 1x. So 24x plus 1x is 25x. Okay, it's a little bit of a shortcut. You might not want to do them if you're not that uh, confident at the start. Okay, and then 1 times 6 is 6. So what answer do we have here? Okay, let's see. We're going to substitute 10 into, okay, because x is equal to 10. We're going to get the answer as follows. 400 plus 250 plus 6. And what does that equal to? 400, 650, 656. Okay, so how did you go with that? Is that the correct answer? You might want to check that out. Okay. Anyway, hopefully that's of some help to you. Um, and that's that's how to expand these binomial expressions. So we're going to um, be having a look at some further algebra in a second where we're going to be um, using expanding using the difference of two squares rule okay and it's it's not too bad okay we'll see you then